Hi, today I'm going to talk about a very nice event that is coming right up. It's like next week or, next week or something. It's the first week of October, so nine, ten days from now. That is actually how I got inside KDE, really. I had done some contribution before that, but uh, Academy, which is what I'm talking about, is really what got me started to KDE. So what's that? <laughs> well, every year, there's a meeting with all of the KDE developers or KDE interested people that of course are able to attend and each year it's in a different place and uh, in three years ago, four years ago, I lost count, uh, four I think, uh, it was in Milan, in Milano, Milan in Italy and it was, I was very lucky because it's right next door <laughs> compared to my city. So I just took a train and went there. And um, funnily enough, I also got to be on stage. There's a nice picture here, me on stage with um, eyes closed because uh, thanks, that's such a nice picture of me to have around. And I talked about consistency. I didn't know I was going to be on stage, but my goal was selected. And so I went there to talk about that. Now we are doing KD Academy yet again. It's this one and it's the 2020 second version. And uh, you might be asking, why do you care? Like maybe you're not a KDE developer. Maybe you don't use KDE. If you don't use KDE for maybe you, you're right that you shouldn't care. But if you're interested in KDE, if you use KDE or anything like that, KDE software, I mean, uh, there is something very interesting because what going, what happens in Academy? There's uh, two parts of Academy. The first parts are the talk. We can see them in the program overview. Talks day one, talks day two. These, if you're not like a KD developer, are probably the most important parts because it's the talks that actually talk about Plasma, uh, KDE as a whole, what's in the future and uh, how do you get involved, maybe these kind of things, the future of KDE. These are things that users are likely to be interested to. Then there is like three days of uh, BOFs, workshop and meetings. That is developers and this time more like developers get uh, together and um, discuss and decide how to actually shape the future of KDE on certain projects. Like as an example, there's KDE Frameworks 6. It has its uh, birds of feather a workshop. There's also a workshop um, about the Plasma, the um, Pino Note, the e-ink and like Plasma on e-inks. That's very interesting, these kind of things. There's also one day about trainings. Um, I actually don't know what's that. <laughs> I'm gonna discover that. Uh, it's not even a link, so I don't know. But let's actually give a look to the talks um, because I've talked about them in my podcast, but I think you might be too interested in, uh, well, what kind of talk talks we have. We start off with a talk uh, from Qt, which is like uh, building the future of um, Qt together. And it is done by a member from the Qt company, which is on the um, KD EV Qt, uh, free Qt foundation. So it's rather interesting. It talks about uh, Qt 6 uh, and uh, the latest version of Qt 6. So I suggest you that you check this out. Then there is one. This one is very important. This one has me. If you want to see me on stage, I am there. There will be, of course, you don't have to be in Barcelona. This year is in Barcelona. You don't have to be there to actually see this. You can just, you know, use the link there. Uh, YouTube, uh, I think, I'm not sure, but surely it's on Peertube. So you can watch it even through open source um, video platform. What's this about? Uh, goals. I've talked about goals and we have um, elected three new goals that we don't yet know. And they will be announced live in this um, talk. Also, we have sometimes asked um, all the gold champions to talk about, oh, that means I have to do a presentation. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes, uh, we will talk about how the goal went. I completely forgot that I had to do the presentation too. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, anyway. And then there's also the new three goalkeepers. And uh, I don't know if they're going to be, uh, if they're going to be on stage because who knows if they're at Academy, we can't know. But uh, yeah, we, we will know what are the new goals of KD and uh, what we KD will focus on in the future. Then lots of interesting uh, stuff. Uh, let's go from this uh, column first. History of console, 
uh, that's very interesting. It talks about, I, I've seen the slides, so I, I'm very excited. <laughs> um, and it talks about console. It's very interesting what console is meant to be, what you want to address. Then there's Plasma Mobile, uh, full Steam Ad, which obviously talks about the Steam Deck. Uh, David Edmundson has worked a lot on the Steam Deck, so I think it's fair. The creation of a new Plasma product, this is very in general, and also covers stuff like Plasma Ink, uh, which is for indeed the um, Pine Note, mostly, as I don't know of any other device. And then Reuse. Here we have Conquering the World by Nate. I highly suggest that you check this one out too. It's the same time, so that annoys me a lot, but it's very interesting. Um, it's a follow-up from a talk of uh, three, four years ago that talks about how KD should conquer the world and how it's going, apparently. I, I don't know what Nate is going to say. Maybe we did conquer the world, I don't know. Then there's the KD Echo achievements. Um, I think this one was changed. I don't remember seeing this one. Then breaking the barrier to enterprise adoption, stop crashing already, which is about debugging crashes, very interesting. And finally, getting your application ready for KD from Framework 6 which as far as, as far as the users are interested, um, Plasma 6 is going to rely on KD Framework 6, so that, that's relevant. Second days of talk, let's quickly go through that and uh, um, those as well. And um, we start with Asahi Linux, which is very interesting. It talks about, I mean, you know, Asahi Linux, the project. And then we've got Wayland, Fedora, this one, uh, the, the report, uh, these are, the report is, something to look forward to, I think, in particular. But in general, you can see all of the nice talks that go from external projects. And I'm sure that somewhere, I, I can't see it right now, but somewhere there's, there's a talk by, um, well, unless it was removed. I, I don't know, there used to be somewhere, I can find it right now, a talk by the Linux experiment too. Um, so that's very interesting. If you don't know what to do, you know, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the 1st and the 2nd of October, um, do this, like watch all this, all of these talks. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be on stage for one of them. And it's going to be interesting. I can assure you that. And um, to finish off this, <laughs> this uh, video, I also got to say a big thanks to KDE as a whole, which is actually sponsoring me going to Academy. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, they're actually, you know, sponsoring me staying uh, at Barcelona for seven days, which has a significant price, which me as a student right now, not exactly getting a lot of money. <laughs> and also I'm in a different country at uh, some significant expenses from that point of view. Uh, I, Kitty is helping me out significantly. So, you know, donation money that goes to Kitty also goes covering this kind of things. It's not just me. So. Thanks a lot of Kitty. And uh, if you're to Academy, tell me, we, we can meet. I, I can be the awkward and like, we can, you can say what you think about me. I don't know, no, we can meet out and, and talk. So um, see you, uh, I, finally, one very last thing. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be GNOME 43. So I think that's gonna be relevant, important. So we'll, we'll stay tuned for that. Bye.